What's going on guys? This is going to be another Android Studio beginner tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use list views. So we'll go ahead and start a new project and I'll just call it list view. Next, next, empty activities, fine, and finish. Let Android build your project. So list views are one of probably the most important things when developing apps. Like they're just so widely used that you really need to become like a master of list views and list adapters, which is what I'll go over in tutorials in the future. But for now, we're just going to go over list views. And like every single app, every app out there uses list views. Like the Facebook news feed, Instagram news feed, uh, Twitter news feed. They're probably actually recycler views, but it's a, it's a form of a list view. You're just listing items. So I'm going to show you a simple example here of how to use a list view. We'll start off by going into activity main and we'll go to the text tab and let's delete this uh, hello world text. So we'll get rid of that, go back to the design tab and let's scroll down till we find list view. It's right there. Just drag it in. I'm just gonna stick it in the top left hand corner here and we'll give it an ID. I'll call it the list. And layout is good for match parent and match parent. Generally with a list view, you, you almost always wanna use match parent because you want it to take up the entire layout. And I noticed there's some padding here, so I'm gonna go over to the text tab and let's get rid of this padding, we don't need that. That's just gonna get rid of all that uh, that extra space that you saw. Here, I'll put it back in and show you. So I put, the, I put the padding back in. You can see there's extra space from the top and the sides. We don't need that, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. So that's all we need to do in activity main. Let's go back to main activity. And we'll just stick a log up here, type log T, hit enter. And we don't need to put our list view up top. Let's do it in the onCreate method. So we'll just declare our list view. I'll just call it list. Let's find view by D, R .id the list. And we'll stick another log in here, because why not? Just to let us know that onCreate has started successfully. So this list here, it's only gonna hold one item per, I guess, container of the list. I mentioned earlier, if you wanna put more things in here, like if you wanna have uh, multiple sort of columns in one row of a list view, you need to use a list adapter for that. But we're not gonna go over the, that in this tutorial. This is just going to be strictly a list view. So let's create some strings, add them to an array, and then add the array to the list view. So let's create some names, create uh, an array of names. Actually, let's use an array list. New array list, and then just go names.addMitch, and we'll copy that maybe five times. Yeah, let's take one more. All right, so now we have our names in an array list. Now what we want to do is add the array list to an adapter and then set the adapter to the list view. So what we do is we use something called an array adapter and I'm just going to call it adapter, new array adapter. First we pass the context and then we pass a layout file. This is going to determine what the, what the list will actually look like. And we're just going to use uh, one of the default Android ones. So use a uh, simple list item one is fine. And then for the last parameter here, we pass the uh, array list. So we just stick names in here. And that is our array adapter. And then all you gotta do is set the array adapter to the list. The list dot set adapter. And we type our array adapter here. And that's all. And we shouldn't have to do anything else. Let's just run it and make sure we get no errors. So there we go, we see that we have all the names in the list view and we can click them, although it doesn't do anything. We have no onclick listener set to the list view, but we can see that everything was successfully added to the list view. And this tutorial is still kind of short, so I think I'm gonna go over one more thing in it. So I mentioned that this was a, a default layout for your list view, so I'm gonna create uh, a custom one and I'll set it to our list. So let's go over to the res folder, go into layout, and let's create a new layout file. So new layout resource file. And let's just call it, uh, I don't know, let's call it list item layout. Okay, so we have a new layout file. Let's actually delete this entire linear layout thing here. Actually, I'll just change this to, what I'll do is I'll change to text view and leave everything the same. We don't need this orientation. And now let's set some properties for our text view. So we can go like text uh, size, I don't know. Let's make it really big, we'll make it 20 SP. And let's change like text, uh, text color. Choose one of these, doesn't really matter. We can change it to primary dark. And then let's go back to, now that we have some properties set in here, let's go back to main activity and let's change this. We're gonna change this to r.layout, list item layout. 
and now let's run it and take a look and see what our list view looks like. So now we can see our list view is totally changed. Um, the colors changed because we changed the color. The text size is changed because we changed the text size. So that's that's just kind of a quick and easy way you can uh, customize what the text is going to look like in your list view. So um, as you also probably noticed, there's not a lot of space between items here, so I could change that. But change I could change the layout height to say like 50 dp, and then maybe let's do like text alignment center, and let's try and run that again and see what that looks like. So now you can see that the text is aligned to the center, and there's a lot more space between list items. And if you notice too, the text is aligned to the top of the list view. So let's change that by setting the gravity. So the set, the gravity is the vertical alignment. Text alignment will handle the horizontal alignment. So I'll, I'll play that again. And now we can see that uh, vertically, the list items are centered because of the gravity and because of the text alignment, the horizontal component of the text is centered. So I'll leave it here. I'll let you guys play around with it. That's all I'm going to go over for list views in this tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to leave a like below. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.